out of nowhere, I swear it was a bear. Like I'm driving and then with no time to react, just something comes bolting out in the road and I hadn't have any time to react really except for to hit the brakes. This is pretty much exactly what happened. This is a reenactment as you can see. But you see our tire marks. We were so lucky we didn't hit all these trees. Talk about lucky. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, I am, I'm actually having a pretty good day, but I got some stuff to talk to you about that wasn't necessarily so great. Um, as you can tell by the thumbnail, we recently were in a car accident and it wasn't very good for us. Uh, it actually turned out pretty deadly for the thing that we hit. And uh, I'll tell you all about that here in a second. Um, I'm gonna discuss to you guys a little bit about where we've been. Um, this is uh, August 31st. I don't think I've posted at all in the month of August and I apologize about that. Um, just took some time off. It's been a very busy month for us here. Uh, on the homestead, Aiden started school. Um, school's going great. You guys won't believe how big he is now. I'll go get him in a minute. He's in there doing some chores. Um, but it's just, August has been really busy for us and uh, I just have left the camera off, stayed busy, did what we gotta do. Hey, y'all stay away from the road. Um, so it's just been a busy month and I haven't been recording. I wish I would have uh, kept you guys updated, but we've just been living life, you know, having a good time. We're okay, everything's fine. Um, but there's all kinds of exciting stuff I wanna share with you guys. A lot has happened, um, but I didn't record a lot this month, but we're gonna catch you guys up to speed. Let's start with this video. So, or the, let's start with the car accident. So, uh, about a week ago or so, maybe longer, I don't know. Um, me and Aiden, I picked Aiden up and we went to the movies and we were having a good night. We we're coming home from the movies and we're driving down a back road and uh, we're just driving, mind our own business. And out of nowhere, I swear it was a bear. Like I'm driving and then with no time to react, just something comes bolting out in the road and I hadn't have any time to react really except for to hit the brakes. And I kind of turned the wheel a little bit because I don't know, I shouldn't have swerved, but I did because I, it, was just, it all happened so fast. I didn't have time to react as you can imagine. Um, but I'm just driving all of a sudden, I swear this thing was as big as a bear. I thought it was a bear coming out of the woods and um, locked him up, hit this thing. And we pushed this thing off into the side of the road, off into the ditch where we almost hit a bunch of trees and stuff. Um, the, uh, Margo quit, come find out. And this, this freaked me out too, because I was thinking to myself after it happened, I was thinking to myself, I was like, all right, great. Now I'm in the ditch. I got a dead bear in front of me probably or something. What if it's not dead? What if, if I get out of this car and it's just mad, you know? So a lot was going through my mind. Um, I get out of the car though, and I find out what we hit. It wasn't a bear. It was a big old boar, a wild boar. And uh, I'll, try to, I'll try to stop the video right here and put in a picture. The picture doesn't do it justice. Um, this thing was big. It took up almost the whole bumper of the car. I was actually in the car when I hit it. Um, but today, for the purposes of the thumbnail and stuff, I, I was driving the Jeep. So I pulled over and took the thumbnail at the Jeep. Um, but we were actually in our car when we hit this thing and it like pretty much took my bumper off and, uh, left an indention of the entire pig on the bumper of the car. And what was so scary though, is, uh, like I said, we were like this close from hitting a whole bunch of trees. Um, and I don't know if you could tell, I did a little walk through with the camera earlier. Um, I don't know if you saw our skid marks, but they were pretty long. I mean, I must've been doing like 45 miles an hour or something. Um, and then, like I said, with no time to react, something bolted out in front of me and, uh, I drug that thing off into the ditch. I'm very thankful that nothing happened to, to us. We didn't get hurt by the car or I mean by the trees or anything. And, uh, luckily that thing, uh, that thing wasn't a bear. <laughs> Thankfully that was not a bear. Um, so we hit this thing and, uh, we get out, we're checking it out and I didn't know what to do. I tried to call my buddy Logan. I said, Hey. I was going to tell Logan, come on, let's load this thing up and do something with it. But he didn't answer his phone. So uh, I just left there, called the sheriff and uh, told the sheriff that uh, we hit an animal and it was there on the side of the road that see if they could get somebody out there to clean that up. 
I didn't know what else to do. I was in a tiny little car and I had a 200 pound pig and I was ready to get home. It's late at night and I didn't know how messed up my car was. So I was just trying to get the car home before it gave out on me. Um, we were very fortunate that uh, the neighbors, we did it right in front of, this all happened right in front of somebody's house. And uh, they came up, they came to, came up to us and uh, checking on us, make sure we're okay. Um, apparently, wasn't long, uh, not long ago, um, they had a similar incident where uh, somebody had crashed in front of their house. They thought they heard it, but then they were like, nah, maybe that wasn't what we think it was. They didn't, they weren't sure what it was. And so they went back to bed. Well, come to find out somebody did get in a car accident and that person passed away because nobody came to help them. You know, I mean, they just, they passed away. Um, so this time when they heard us get in a car accident, they weren't taking any chances. They came out there to check on us, um, see if we need any help and very grateful and thankful for them for coming out and checking on us in case something was seriously wrong. Um, but that's a, this whole thing was a serious, serious lesson for me alone, just to, to be a lot more careful driving at night on these back roads. Both my vehicles have been damaged now by uh, a wild animal. The Jeep, I hit a, uh, I hit a deer recently. See if I can get that sun out of your face. Um, I hit a deer recently, or last year I hit a deer with my Jeep, driving down basically the same road this deer, this deer jumped out of nowhere, clipped my, my bumper and rolled down the side of my Jeep, didn't up my Jeep. So that, that really sucked. Um, and then this time, like last week or two weeks ago, um, a wild boar, a big old boar hit my car. So now I've got two vehicles um, that have been damaged by wild animals driving at night. So um, trying not to drive anymore at night, <laughs> at least not down that road. I think I'm gonna take a different road. I'm gonna take a different location. And it's funny actually, cause um, when we were on our way, me and Aiden today, we were on our way to go, uh, get a shot of the skid marks and where we had crashed and stuff to show you guys, get a thumbnail. As we were almost there, a deer jumped out in front of us again, but it was further on up in the road. Aiden saw it. He goes, Hey deer. I said, what? He goes deer. I was like, Oh, and, uh, it passed. I told Aiden, I was like, anytime you see deer, you watch out. There's usually more than one. Um, uh, but we didn't see any more on that, but that just goes to show you how much wildlife is on that road. Um, it's right between the woods and a, a bunch of pastures. So that's probably crossing grounds for all kinds of animals. Um, very dangerous road. Be careful driving at night. If you happen to live in the country, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, my brother recently just told me, he said one time he caught, he counted like 31 deer from his property to the main highway, um, to get out of his area. And I was like, you kidding me? He goes, no, I'm serious, man. 31, th from the, it was a couple miles, like three or four mile stretch. He said he counted 31 deer one time at the, you know, at dusk. So if you live on a country road or something, be careful. It's not good. Um, hitting animals is not fun, especially in the middle of the night when you're not anywhere near your house. So we're fine. We're fine. Um, back, back to where we've been and everything. Like I said, um, so much has happened. I can't wait to put out a few more videos explaining uh, some of the different things we've been up to. Uh, but I can give you a little teaser real quick on what we've been up to. Aiden started school. Um, a lot's changed at work. My, my boss got fired. We've been without a boss for like the whole month. And the other day we got a new boss, the whole thing. And uh, it's just been, work's been tough. And um, me and Aiden, uh, on a positive note though, me and Aiden, uh, right before school started, we went on a, a little guy's trip, me and him. I took him up to Roaring River. Missouri, the state park up there. We were gonna do some fishing and stuff. We ended up just checking that out, but we took our kayaks with us. We, we went and floated down the Knoll River. Me and Aiden did like a, like a seven mile float on the kayaks in uh, Knoll, Missouri. And uh, man, that was such a blast. Had such a good time loading up the kayaks and just heading out for a guy's weekend. Um, man, such a good time. Um, we floated that whole thing. That took us all day. We ended up going up uh, into Eureka Springs and stuff. We had this cabin out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, and uh, just what a wonderful time. We went and checked out a cave, um, the Onyx Cave. I don't know if you've ever been there. Um, we checked out uh, this 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 giant petting zoo thing out there on the border of Arkansas, Missouri. It's an outdoor petting zoo. It's like a drive-through zoo, really. And uh, it, was, it was really neat, really cool stuff out there. I might have some footage of that. I'll try to sneak into this video. Um, if I did grab some vid video of uh, those animals and stuff, that was awesome. Some of them animals were really neat. 
Um, so I can't wait to share that with you. If you get a chance to go check it out, go check out that thing. That, that drive through zoo is totally worth it. Um, it probably took us like, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. Could have took longer, could have took less time, depending on how fast you drive, how long you want to check out the animals. Um, but yeah, so uh, and then we, uh, the last bit of that little vacation, we, uh, we went to this place called Defy in Rogers, Arkansas. It's a trampoline house. And boy, let me tell you, it's a blast. I don't know if you guys can tell, but uh, I, trampolines are a blast. I don't know if you've ever been to a trampoline building, like a place where they just have trampolines everywhere. They're like in the ground. It's so cool. Um, I love trampolines. So I was out there doing backflips and stuff, and Aiden was having a blast. We were there for like three and a half hours. When we left, me and Aiden were both just dead. Our, our, our abs hurt. Our bodies hurt. <laughs> Aiden's neck hurt because I tried to help him do a backflip, and he like landed on his head. <laughs> so... Aiden's like, no more backflips for me. I was like, all right, fair enough. Um, but if you've never been to one of them trampoline parks, you should take your kids, your grandkids. I would guarantee you they're going to have a really good time. They probably have them everywhere. Um, just type in on Google trampoline park near me and go check one of those things out. Um, and we checked out some really cool places to eat. Um, there was this local small hole-in-the-wall diner, had some really good breakfast. And then uh, after we got done at that trampoline place, me and Aiden went to this place called Old Chicago. Um, they had a really amazing food. They just had amazing food there. Um, we had a big old giant Chicago style uh, Supreme pizza. This thing was like that thick. Uh, and we had their mozzarella sticks. And I'm telling you right now, you bite in one of these mozzarella sticks, you could pull that cheese for a mile, country mile. Uh, so old Chicago pizza place. If you've never been, if you find one, I know there's one in Joplin, Missouri. There's one in uh, Rogers, Arkansas. Uh, if you happen to drive by an old Chicago pizza place, go check them out. They got some pretty good grub over there. Um, so that's something to check out. Um, man, that's that's really kind of some of the biggest highlights. There's some other things I'm not telling you guys that I was going to say for another video. I don't want to spoil everything on the first video back. Um, but there's other things that are developing in uh, our life and uh, on the farm and stuff like that that I cannot wait to share with you guys. You're going to want to catch the rest of our videos coming up. Um, cause I got a lot to share with you guys that you don't know about yet. So I think you're gonna be really excited. And, uh, we got some new life born on the farm today. Uh, super excited. Kind of had, Hey, get over here. Kind of had, uh, some rare animals be born here on the farm. So that's a pretty big deal for us. I've um, been waiting a long time. Man, Peanut is dirty. Where did you go walk through? A, a tar pit? Where? Look at this. Come on. Guess who's not coming in the house? Look at this. I don't know what he just went through. Look how big Peanut got. <laughs> but, oh, it stinks. Get out of here. I don't know what he just went through, but it, he, mud. He just went and walked through mud somewhere. So he's not coming in the house for a while until he gets a bath. We're going to have to give him a bath later. <laughs> um, Peanut's growing up big on us. All the animals are doing really good. I need to mow, I need to weed eat. Um, but we'll show you all the animals and stuff on another video. I'll catch you up with all the animals. Uh, Margo, come here. Um, so today was just an explanation about what happened um, with, the, with the car wreck and that we're okay, slash um, kind of what happened in the month of August. Um, just like I said, we went on vacation, Aiden started school and um, wrecked our car. <laughs> Had a bunch of good grub, and um, here we are, the end of August, beginning of September, and uh, I'm, I'm kind of back at it. I'm, I'm well rested. Took a nice break from YouTube. Took a nice break from filming everything. Um, sometimes it's just nice to live life off camera, I'll be honest with you. So, um, yeah, I just really enjoyed uh, my time off from, from YouTube and everything, so... Anyway, guys, that's all I got for you for today in today's video. Leave a comment down below. Um, where do you like to go do some vacation and out? What's some fun stuff you guys have done? What have I missed in your life? What happened in the month of August that I missed in your life? Um, I sure do miss you guys. I missed all of your comments. You guys are always the best. You leave the best comments, the sweetest comments. I know I have the absolute most best subscribers in the world. And I, I thank you if you're watching this video. You took the time to stop and check on us. Um, I know we have been absent, but I'm just so grateful and thankful that you stopped in to say hi and hang out with us for a minute. Um, we're doing great. I'm going to get back at it. Um, took a nice little break and now I'm ready to get back at it. So, man, I love you guys. I uh, hope you have a wonderful day and uh, I'll try to find some clips of that zoo and stuff and 
I'll just throw in the I'll throw in this video any clips I can find uh, through the August the month of August, and uh, so it'd be a bunch of random stuff. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video. All right, look what we got here. Me and Aiden went fishing. How'd you? What do you think, son? Pretty fun. I had a blast. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, can't wait to go back tomorrow. Look at all these fish we caught. We caught even more that are in the bucket already. Uh, we've been cleaning fish. So we got some good fillets in here. Oh, got some grass. It's all right, we'll clean them again. Um, but yeah, son, what'd you think? I'm seeing which one's the biggest. Which one? I think I see which one the biggest is, don't you? I think it's this one. What? Are you kidding me? Go over two right. Yeah, that's got to be the biggest. This one is the one I caught. Well, that one's huge. Are you blind? Yeah. Is it sitting on top of another fish? Yeah. Well, that's not fair. You can't have them sitting on another fish. I think that one on the second to last. Down one more. Wait, is that sitting on a fish? Yeah. Well, that doesn't help. Leave a comment down below. Which one do you think is the biggest start with that one? How many fish are here? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. <coughs> 16 fish go in order from one to 16. Which one do you think is the biggest fish? Leave your comment down below. Which one is the biggest? Aiden, which one do you think it is? Right you thinking it's that one? Yeah. Did you catch that one? Yeah. You think you caught the biggest fish? Yeah. I'm thinking we already cleaned the biggest fish and I caught it. Nah. Yeah, I think that's what happened. I caught a big old fish and, uh, yeah. I caught the biggest and the most special one. Yeah, Aiden caught a catfish. It's awesome. Yeah. These are uh, what we call here, people call these sand bass. We're, we're from sand bass and Aiden caught one catfish. Like I said, we already cleaned some of these. They're already in there. But, uh, yeah, catch, clean, cook. Catch, clean, cook? Yeah. Let's get to work. Got to keep cleaning these up. It's about midnight. Let's get to work. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I changed my mind. Change your mind. You have that for time time. Nice. You ready for this? Go for it, buddy. Oh. You're good. All right, big man. Yeah. Woo. And before you realize it, you're like halfway down the river. No, I knew. I knew to expect it. Look at this walk up. One big rock. You're gonna fall. Nope. <laughs> Yeah, don't. Yeah. Just go around. Don't give up. Don't give up. Ah. It's a good time. Heck yeah. Cool rock. Oh, yeah, get up there. Let's see if you can do what I did. <laughs> get over there. Can't even get over there. There you go. Keep climbing.
get going. Up. Easy. You're having a bunch of trouble. I wasn't. I'm all video. Yeah, I did great. You're crying. I did a fantastic job You're with crying. the current. You're crying. I ain't crying. You're crying. Ready? Nice. Pull that cheese, look at that, look at that cheese. That is amazing, fantastic. <laughs> These mozzarellas are awesome. The pizza is amazing. Old Chicago. So good. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. These things just like us. It's funny you just like walk right up. Oh my gosh. Is that a dinosaur? <laughs> you hear him like yeah. growling? Oh, he's coming right in. He's like a dog. Oh, it's coming up. Oh my gosh. Hey, buddy. I think you can pet llamas. Oh man, I think he's gonna bite me or spit on me for sure. I've pet a llama. I'm before. pretty sure he's gonna bite or spit. Spit, yeah. Hey, buddy. We're being circled. Hi. I've got nothing. <laughs> oh man. Oh my gosh. Hi. Hi. Oh, he's like in the window. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't even go anywhere. Oh my gosh. Hi. That's fine. You wanna pet him? Yeah. See? Did it. I did it. <laughs> nice. Can't go anywhere. Sleeping, you just wake up to that. He looks hungry. Oh god. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, he's in the car. <laughs> Hiya pal. Hi pal. I'm keeping an eye. Oh my god. They look hungry. They look scary. I would not want to make them mad. No. It's like a raptor. Wanna race? Oh look, two more over there. We're gonna get some. Well look who's in charge of everything. Hey, do I turn anywhere? No, you're doing fine. Aiden's over here driving in Arkansas. Nice. Around. I thought the speed limit 